This major league debut, and it's a rocky major league debut. Joe Oliver connects his seventh home run, and just like that, the Mariners lead it by a count of two nothing. And of course, one young White Sox fan, you know, Mom, can, can, can I start school or something? I don't want to watch this. Top four, Mariners up two nothing. Carlos Guillen shoots one down the line. That's going to rattle around in the corner there. Mike Cameron's going to score. Oliver will score, and Guillen's going to run really fast. That's Oliver. He doesn't run so fast, but Guillen in safe at third with a triple his first of the year. He also doubled Mariners 4-0. Kids a little happier. Now bottom fourth, 4-0 Mariners. Aaron Seeley to Frank Thomas. Frank Thomas, that's really far. And if you're Seeley, it's a bad case of negative feedback. 34th of the year for the big hurt. Sox make it a 4-1 game. Seeley turns it over the bullpen in the eighth. Arthur Rhodes facing Harold Baines, and Baines, he missed that pitch, so he's got to go back to the dugout. Kazuhiro Suzaki in the ninth facing Charles Johnson. Splitters really aren't that fair when you think about it, Reese. Two outs there, and next guy, Ray Durham. At least he does get some bat on it, but right to Cameron in center field. 28 save, 31 chances for Suzaki. Mariners win at 6-3. Aaron Seeley, 7 and 2 thirds, reaches 13 wins for the Team win. The Royals come out hacking already up 4-3. This is Joe Rando with a man on. Jose Cruz Jr. hides behind the graphic and the ball went over his head. Royals go up 5-3. Mike Sweeney rumbling home. Here is Tony Batista. He votes that one off the island. His 34th dinger. The Royals lead is cut to 6-4. Same inning. Shannon, Shannon Stewart up after Greg Rayback had an RBI double and he will be able to trot home at a leisurely pace. Stewart had three hits in his 16th homer here. Blue Jays up 7-6, but the Royals the battle die. back. Jermaine Dye, the All-Star. Right. Back goes Martinez. Goes with it. it Off the top of the wall. Just missed the homer. Johnny Damon on base again. Three more hits. Tied at seven. That'd be it for Wells. And here's Batista going right up the middle. Dave Martinez would score. Goes back and forth. Blue Jays on top 8-7. Now it's the top of the sixth. The 10 7 score right here and crushing the ball is Brad Fulmer. Leaves the building. Blue Jays go up 13 to 7. They go on to win it 15 to 7, but Wells didn't last long enough to pick up his 18th win. He gave it. One, two pitch. Melvin Mora. That's the kind of thing that gave the Mets problems. A shortstop, a run would score. Tigers go up 3 2. It was a long day for Ponson. Four innings pitch, six earned. Walk three. Steve Sparks, meanwhile, taking care of business with his knuckleball and with his glove. Jeff Conine hit it right back at his belly button. Sparks, seven and two thirds, allowed just four hits, two earned. Bottom seven already 10 2 Tigers, and here is Juan gone. This will not be gone, but it will be his third hit of the day, and Trinidad Hover will make it worth even more. Two run score on Trinidad's error. The O's fall 14 to 3. Though the Tiger Bats had been silent recently, coughing up big innings, nothing new for the Oriole pitchers. Detroit. On July 5th, the Cardinals had a 10 game lead in the Central. Since that day, they've gone 11 and 19 and have lost eight of their last 10 series. Biggest difference between the two, of course, Cardinals still in first place. Pedro Estacio on the hill, opposing pitcher Garrett Stevenson laying down the suicide squeeze. And it's working. Fernando Tatis will score. They get it out there, but the Cards take a 2 0 lead. Top of the seventh, meantime. Nephi Perez at the plate, getting a good rip on this. Jim Edmonds out there, picks it up and fires in one shot. First place and getting the double play. Prevents the run as well. Got there ahead of the run. Bottom of the eighth, 4 3 Rockies. Tatis rips this one out. Daddy's home. Tie ball game 4 4. Top of the ninth. Got runners on first and second. Nobody out. Jeff Fry getting a good shot on this one. Sean Dunstan, the age of 37, leaping grab. This man was a first pick overall in the Major League Draft in 1982. Making that play. Next man up, men still on first and second. Juan Pierre lines this. Edgar Renteria grabs that and the flip, the double play, and it ends the inning at four. Bottom of the ninth, still 4 4. Sean Dunstan there at first. Jim Edmonds facing Jose Jimenez. And a rip on this. Opposite field, power alley going into the gap. Dunstan coming around. He scores easily. And the Cardinals take this one. Reds with the day off, so the Cardinal lead now five and a half games. Mike Timlin with a chance to give him some credit. Pitches a scoreless one and a third. He gets the win. On in, Derek Bell. The left out of this one, the finale. Jeff Bagwell here. Crushes this. Two for four with two RBIs. 31 home runs on the year after this game. Right with some fan interference. Take another look at this. Daryl Hamilton going up, but that's in the stands. 
So we're all tied up at two. It's a home run. Rookie Tony McKnight. Make Mike Piazza look out. Right back up there. Piazza scoring a run here, driving one in. He's three for three at that point. He'd be four for four. He's hitting 351. Bottom of the six. Richard Hidalgo pops this one. Edgardo Alfonso snags that. Holding Jeff Bagwell at first. Alfonso also two for five in the game. The seventh, 4-2 Mets. Intentional walk to Piazza. Puts men on the corners. Robin Ventura puts that down the line, doing some damage. Hamilton will score. Piazza coming all the way around. And he slides in. 6-2 Mets up on top. And Piazza, remember, he's playing with a sprained knee. Six for nine over two games since spraining that knee, though. He's back in shape. Bobby Valentine fired up. 23-year-old Tony McKnight takes the loss in his major top six, 6'3 six, Padres. 24th on the year. That ties his career high of last year. Two for three, three RBIs, nine, three Padres. Randy Wolf allowed nine runs. 15 to three now in the eighth. Carlos Almanzar at the plate and getting the force out. Almanzar doesn't run it out and oh, they get the double play. Well, I'll tell you what, the kangaroo court's gonna have something to say about this one. Not exactly busting a gut to get down there, are we? 15 to three, the final one this one. The 15 runs, 19 hits were both season highs. Star bases are juiced for Bernie Williams, and he is hitting 800 in such situations, and now even better. Rocious and Jeter score 104 RBIs for Bernie. It's five nothing. Did you hear that Joe Torre expressed surprise that Jose Canseco was joining the Yankees? Well, it's no sin to change your mind. Canseco starting at DH logs on. He is part of the Gone Network. First is the Yank, 10th overall, it's 8-2. More of that DH triumvirate out there. Glenn Allen Hill, who was playing left today, he's a lumberjack and he's okay. His fifth, the Yankees up 10-2 on the two-run shot. Top five, Cone gets Randy Velarde. Then Jason Giambi, the all-star. Sit on it, Potsy. And Ben Grieve, Grievous. A season-high eight strikeouts for Cone, and he's pumped up his dad in from Kansas City, lending some moral support. And in the defense, lends some weather support. Jeter, flat out to second, and he gets the force. Cone went six strong. Yankees win it 12-6. Cone wins for the first time, as I mentioned, since April 28th, a span of 16 starts. By the second inning, every Yankee starter had either scored a run or driven in one, walked them full. Pitching coach didn't have the right thing to say. Ponce Jose Guillen that forces in a run, and May's day was done after facing five batters. Later in the inning, it's 2 nothing with two on him. Aubrey Huff, it leaves in a huff. His first big league homer in his 21st career at bat, and the Devil Rays are on top, 5-0 in the first. Bottom three, Jose Guillen again. Here comes Ron Coomer. Oh, that's just flat out getting it done. Top six, Corey Koski, the liner. Felix Martinez for the double play. John, let's take another peek at that. I'm not sure I got it all. Yeah. Good pick. Good peg. Got him. Good call. Devil Rays win it by a count of 10 to 4. They won five out of six. Gerald Williams tied his career high with his 17th homer, and it came on his 34th birthday.